Hello and welcome back to Persona 5 Tactica. Last time we lost all of our party members to Lady Marie, who appears to be the ruler in this weird world we found ourselves in. A resident of this world, uh, Irina here, has been rebelling against Marie, and well, basically that's about all we know. Um, well, apart from the fact that her hideout is also LeBlanc, and it's always been here, as far as she can remember, and it's always been her hideout. It's a little bit weird. There's obviously some kind of cognitive thing going on here, like which is generally one of the Persona things. Like, There's obviously something to do with the fact that this is our hideout and it's her hideout, but what the exact connections are, we're not entirely sure. So, let's talk to her and let's see whether we can get some answers. The Dire State of Things. That's a fair way of summing things up. So you and your friends are from another world? I have to admit, that's rather hard to grasp. This world's the only one I've ever known. On top of that, you're also telling me you're thieves who steal hearts. And you just stumbled into this world? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Believe me, we're in the same boat here. All of a sudden, we were surrounded by Marie's forces and you had to rescue us. We really have no idea what's going on. Well, we can try to hash it out later. Uh, Morgana and you. I love how they're committing to the Persona 5 bit where they never actually use your name, which, because obviously you can name your own character, but instead they're doing he's, they're doing you's, but they keep doing little pauses before it, like, oh yeah, this is a bit weird. I suppose it's my turn to answer questions. Feel free to ask away. Okay, who is Marie? She's a ruthless tyrant who fancies herself the ruler of these parts. This used to be a peaceful place, free of any sort of conflict. Then Marie appeared, and everything changed. She declared that the entire city and all its citizens were now her property. With her invincible soldiers leading the way, she quickly seized full control. Invincible soldiers? You mean, those guys who attacked us? Yes. We've taken to calling them Legionnaires. Okay. Legionnaires, hostile monstrosities found only within kingdoms. They are believed to be born from the minds of twisted individuals attacking whoever their designated ruler demands. I'm sure you saw for yourselves. Not only are they incredibly strong, but all we can do is knock them out. They're always back on their feet all too soon. No matter the tactics we try, they're seemingly invincible. Maybe they're shadows of some kind. Only personas can put down a shadow. No wonder you didn't stand a chance. Shadows? Personas? Whatever those may be, I knew you had solid intel on the enemy. Anyway, after Marie showed up and declared that this was her kingdom, now she brainwashes anyone she can find, then uses them up until they're nothing. Anything else you'd like to ask? Sure. What are you doing here? Yeah, she said this was the Rebel Corps' hideout, didn't she? Marie is strong enough that it'll take everyone in the city to stop her. That's why I founded the Rebel Corps. I've served as leader ever since. As the one who inspired the citizens here to fight, it's my job to see that Marie no longer enslaves them. Well, you certainly have a good reason to be considered a criminal, huh? Pretty impressive, Arena. <laughs> well, our current win record certainly isn't impressive. There are so few of us left now. We're basically an army in name only. Yeah, when your enemies get right back up, there's only so much you can do. Right. The best we can do now is lay low here and look for gaps in their defense. So, was there anything else? Well, yes. Why did you rescue us? Why? You two were in trouble, so I had to help. Even if it meant getting caught? Those guys already had it out for you. True. And I admit I was already considering recruiting you to our cause. I'd never seen anyone go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie's forces before. Not that well, anyway. We'll certainly take the compliment. But you were the real star back there. Thanks again, Arena. It was a pretty big gamble on my part, but I'm definitely glad it paid off. So, anything else? 
So, I understand that Marie is doing whatever she pleases in this world. But do you know if she has a goal? If she's going through the effort of enslaving everyone, it has to be for some reason. <sighs> the perfect wedding. Huh? The perfect wedding? She wants to get married? Yes, Marie is in a perpetual state of preparing her wedding. It's become her single obsession by this point. It always needs to be more, no matter the pain it may cost. Can't say I expected that. Her own legionnaires, the citizens she captured, even your own friends are all forced to prepare her wedding. She was even able to command them to build her that tank with the premature message on the grill. Marie sounds like a real threat. She's self-centered enough to sacrifice everyone around her for her own desires. If she's as powerful as she seems, then everyone's in real trouble. Oh, we need to act fast. Well, now that we've got a grasp on things, let's figure out our next course of action. Okay, so my current theory that I'm working with here is that this is some kind of brainwashing thing. Uh, you know, because she has to um, enslave everybody in the city. If this is like, we're inside someone's head cognitively, then... A, enslaving everybody in the city is in theory getting everyone to agree to the same plan and get everyone on the same page as the person enslaving them which would then allow it was like you know a metaphor for brainwashing that's what I'm going for how it got all of us trapped in this I'm not entirely sure yet but I'm sure we'll find out okay well let's save our friends yeah that's our top priority but Given how strong their brainwashing is, this isn't going to be easy. About that, I have a suggestion. You two want to free your friends from Marie and escape this metaverse. And I want to take Marie down so nobody has to live under a tyrant anymore. With that in mind, I think we should join forces. Would you be willing to join the Rebel Corps if I were to help you on your rescue mission? <laughs> I see. In other words, you want to make a deal, right? How about it? Hmm. Well, it's our only option. Especially when you consider how there's no way to rescue the others without facing down Marie. Not only do we need to rescue our friends, but we need to figure out how to get back home, too. I'd say the more of us, the better. And she seems pretty capable, too. We talked it over, and it's unanimous. You've got a deal, Arena. Excellent. Then it's a deal. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. First things first. I officially deem you two members of the Rebel Corps. So, with that said... Welcome to the Resistance, comrades! C comrades uh, Well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go with that for now. <laughs> All right, well, we've got us here. The leader of the Phantom Thieves, codenamed Joker. A second year student at Shujin Academy, he and the other thieves purge distorted desires from the hearts of ill doers. Possessing the wildcard affinity allows him to use multiple personas. The trickster moniker was given to him because of his uncanny knack for altering fate. Organa, a mysterious entity with the semblance of a cat, codenamed Mona. As an expert in the art of uh, thiefdom, he taught the group the tricks of their trade. His particular origin once troubled him deeply, but he's since become comfortable in his own fur as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Just so long as no one calls him a cat. Irina. The leader of the Rebel Corps who forges an alliance with the Phantom Thieves to achieve a mutual goal. The sight of Irina brandishing her spear as she races across the battlefield inspires courage to those who follow her. The, um, the glimpses of childishness can be gleamed behind or beneath her gallantry. Okay, I think that's everybody here. Places. Hideout. The base of operations for the Phantom Thieves and the Rebel Corps in the part of the metaverse that Alpax and the others have currently found themselves, the hideout is a spitting image of the real world LeBlanc, yet no one knows why. However, the private relaxed atmosphere helps them feel at ease there. Chujin Academy. The private high school attended by Joker and most other Phantom Thieves is also where the first change of heart incident took place. The school has been mired in controversies including a faculty instigated assault, a bevy of scandals and the principal's death. It seems that things have finally settled down though. Okay. 
Phantom Thieves. A group of thieves who infiltrate the minds of the corrupt and steal their hearts to make them change their ways. They kicked off a quest to save the world with their first change of heart. The true identities of these heroes are known only to a select few accomplices. This is effectively, I'm imagining, a recap of everything that you need to know from Persona, because in theory you could be playing this without having played Persona 5. Anyway, Phantom Thief Attire. The outfits worn by the Phantom Thieves that allow them to hide their true identities. In most cases, they find themselves in their outfits automatically the moment they enter the metaverse. Many of the code names used by the Phantom Thieves were inspired by their attire, as it often represents some aspect of their true selves. Code names An alias used to conceal the identity of a Phantom Thief while in the metaverse. Some are based on the member's mask or outfit, while others are inspired by personality. According to the self proclaimed expert on Phantom Thiefdom, using one's real name is also considered uncool. Persona. A unique power wielded by the Phantom Thieves. Each one's physical form and capabilities are influenced by the individual's by the individual user's heart. As an inseparable part of one's identity, it also serves as a personal protection. With this power, the Phantom Thieves fight for their convictions and strive to change the world. And Shadows. Fantastical beings found within palaces and mementos. Most take the appearance of gods and demons from human lore, some will even lend Joker their aid depending on his tact and negotiations. And then we have one other. So I'm assuming the other in this one is basically just like, things that you need to know for the game to work. So like, all of these are just recaps of Persona 5, and then this is telling you that that's what we're going to call the enemies. Okay, cool. Party received 2 GP. I don't know what that is. About the hideout. The hideout is your safe place in this world. There are various ways to prepare for battle here, as well as the option to converse with allies. Save your progress by pressing the start button in the hideout. You can also save from the prep menu under the system option, as well as on the pre-battle screen. When autosave is enabled in the settings, the game will automatically save. Yeah, okay. I think I can possibly work that one out. I should write that down. So let's do a save here. Right. Uh, I'll probably keep, like, the max number of saves. It's just something I do. Okay, so what have we got? So we have our party. So we have ourselves here. We have Morgana, who can move one extra space but has much less HP. And then we have Arena. Okay, so you can add remove from the party, including being able to remove uh, Joker from the party. Interesting. Details. We got anything in here? One target, a single shot thing. Okay, so all of this is kind of stuff we already know. One target, single shot, and then AoE multi-shot. Okay, cool. I mean, that's all cool. There's not, not really anything to do there. Equip. You got anything in here? Nope. Okay, then. Skills. Strengthen your units by acquiring skills found in each character's skill tree. Growth points, GP, are used to acquire skills in the skill tree. You, uh, you earn GP when your Phantom Thieves level increases, or sometimes when you engage in conversations found in the talk menu. If a unit has enough GP to acquire a skill, an exclamation mark will be shown next to the available GP of the unit in the unit selection screen of the skill section in the prep menu. Be sure to regularly check for new skills to acquire. Okay, well, it says we can acquire skills. Let's do it. Acquire a skill by placing the cursor over the skill you desire and pressing A. You can undo this by pressing A again. If you would like the game to handle skill acquiring for you, simply press start. No, I think we can do this. Okay, so, let's see what our options are. So the first one is, so we have 29 SP. I do like that it has those details at the side, because I just noticed here, we have an upgrade to our um, EHA skill called EGA, which, um, there's medium damage. However, it does cost like double the amount. So that's a huge damage increase for a huge SP increase. Okay. Also, interestingly, this doesn't appear to be like tied to a persona. This is tied to Joker. So I'm assuming that Joker can only use Arsene in this case, right? Um, otherwise, he would, this would have to change each time you change your persona. I did hear something about your side characters being able to equip personas in some way, 
like similar to how Joker could in the main game. So I'm wondering whether you each person has like their base persona and then you get like an extra one at some point. Anyway, I'm sure the game will tell us. The other option is that we can uh, get the upgrade, which is AoE. And the fact that we can get two different upgrades and are not mutually exclusive, though, does imply that we're still going to have access to this one as well. Okay. And then it upgrades and upgrades and upgrades to whatever this one is. Okay, what else have we got over here? Increases uh, the damage of that skill. Okay. Uh, raises defense of one ally. So that's a new skill. Okay. Because that'll be all allies. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Over here, what we got? Just more damagey stuff. And then we got this one, which is just locked. Nocturnal Wings, which actually, the only one we know about is the bottom of the skill tree here. If HP falls below 50%, recovers some HP and increases damage for the next attack. Oh no, this skill tree is just the other way up. Huh. Anyway, whatever. Uh, we can't afford it anyway. And then on this side, we have the other thing we can buy, which is slightly restores SP when in cover. Huh. Interesting. I kind of feel like I want to go for the SP one. Because this thing costs 12 SP, right? So currently we can use it twice in combat. If we could recover just a little HP, like all we'd have to do is recover, it's not HP, uh, SP. If we could recover 7 SP in combat, we get an extra use of this each combat. I think that's invaluable. Let's do that. Okay. And that's it. It's just applied. We now have it. Okay. You can choose to remove it. Does it, oh, it gives you your SP back? Oh, so you can just respec, I think, whenever. Is that right? Yeah, I think you can just respec whenever. All right, in which case, yeah, sure. Okay, Mona. Again, we have the same option to get SP. Mona's costs eight, however, and Mona starts with 37. So that's a different kind of thing. Yeah, sure, we could recover SP while we're in co cover, but like, who cares? We can use this so many times. Okay, in which case, I definitely do want something. I actually kind of like uh, this. A, in a small area sweeps away targets. I think this could be really useful, because what we can do is we can then push multiple targets out of cover, giving us multiple things to get one-ups on. Okay, I think that's good. And then we have Arena. So we have Partisan here. We've got the AoE and we've got the medium and we've got the SP. So she can use this twice in combat. So she can't use that three times because she doesn't have enough SP. Um, in which case we want to do this because she can get five S. If she can get five SP, we can use it again. That's the way I'm reading this. Anyway, cool. Happy we went in here and actually had a look because otherwise we wouldn't have leveled up. Right. Let's do a save. Time to write. Uh, and then maybe we'll have a talk to uh, our allies. Oh, we've already done that one. I assume, does this just redo the talk? If it does, I can just skip it. So you and your friends. Yeah, yeah, it just redoes it. Okay. She's a. That's fine. Yeah. Just skip all of this. Why? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. That's just a recap, basically. All right. Let's do a mission. This will progress the story. Is this okay? I do like that it says that. It's basically saying, okay, um, this is gonna move you on. I like it giving us a little warning. Okay, let's see what we got. I've returned. I've returned with my report. Hey, what's with him? He was one of the guys who got shot in the back at the start. Hey, yeah! Who's this unfamiliar furball? Aria must have sent you. Very well then, have at you! <laughs> no need to have at anyone. You can stand down. These are our new comrades. I don't even want to get into it. Just fill him in on our situation later, Arena. So interestingly, this one is very similar design to the Legionnaires, right? While Arena is quite clearly a different design. She's got, you know, human features. I'm wondering if there's going to be a reason for this. I assume there is, but I'm just pointing it out. You were out on recon, right? Find anything? C correct, Captain. And your intel was 
right on the mark. Multiple unknown individuals are being held in the prison near Marie's castle. I'm not surprised that Marie sees you and your compatriots as a threat. Despite being brainwashed, her more powerful puppets usually get locked up and not in use. We won't know for certain whether or not these are your friends unless we see for ourselves. Okay, let's go find out then. Right. Time for me to start upholding my end of the deal. If we really did find your friends, they could give our forces a solid boost when we spring them. All right. We'll head out once you've rested up. I'll draw up a plan of attack. It won't take very long. Man, I didn't expect us to get beat as badly as we did. Hmm. Yeah, something weird's going on. Our powers not working like usual really held us back there. Maybe the metaverse just works differently here? Well, it's no use thinking about it now. Plus, we've got Arena helping us out with that now. Hopefully, she comes up with a strategy that... Ooh? Was that? A blue butterfly floated past us and faded away. Where it vanished, there's now a familiar looking door. Oh, I wonder where this could lead. The blue door? Don't tell me. Wait, is it different somehow? It does look a little odd. Let's go through it. She might be able to tell us what's going on. At the very least, she'll have our backs. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to go to the V room. The velvet room. Whoa! It looks totally different in here now! Yeah, this is odd. There are a bunch of machines all over the place. What happened? It's been a while. <laughs> well, a very short while, I suppose. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This realm exists between dream and reality, between mind and matter. It appears you've suffered quite the ordeal. Miss Lavenza. Hmm. I do love the, do I know you? <laughs> but no, what are you doing here? Uh, this place has been affected by the same guidance of fate as that which has claimed yourselves. And this guiding hand must be wielded by a being with significant power. Okay, we got two new things here. We have Lavenza. A resident of the Velvet Room who takes the form of a young girl. She refers to Alpax as Trickster, putting her unequivocal trust in him as her benefactor while assisting and watching over his exploits. She is mostly polite and diligent in her duties, but does tend to make the occasional head-scratching remark. She's also, like, introduced very late into Persona 5. And then the Velvet Room. A mysterious blue room that lies on the border of dreams and reality between mind and matter. Lavenza is one of its residents, performing persona fusions for Alpax there. The room's appearance reflects its visitor's state of mind. In the past, it resembled a prison, but in the current part of the metaverse, it instead resembles a foundry. Okay, so I'm assuming it's now a foundry because we're part of a revolution and she's effectively, a, um, you know, giving us the weapons. Okay, that makes sense. However, I do not know which being is responsible, nor their intentions. All I can say for certain is that our current situation deviates greatly from the natural course of events. I admit that my carelessness led to being caught in this aberration and pulled from my master's side. Oh, it got you too, Miss Lavenza? Whoever this being may be, they are also responsible for the chaotic state of this room. It's as if some force of negation has infected this place. This force has unfortunately affected you all as well, deepening the issue you currently face. I see. So that's why we couldn't summon our personas like usual. 
This woman named Marie called the place a kingdom or something. Whatever it is, it sure is weird. Then I will henceforth refer to that realm as a kingdom. This kingdom is a world disparate from Mementos and the other palaces. Okay. Ooh. New things. Palace. Locations within the metaverse created by the hearts of those who have become consumed by, uh, by deadly sin. These places materialize objects of the creator's desire, many of which are surreal like figments of a dream. The Phantom Thieves have determined that the area of the metaverse that they are currently stumbled into is not a palace. Mementos. An entire cognitive world discovered while the Phantom Thieves were in the real world Tokyo. If palaces are cognitive worlds built from the distorted desires of individuals, Mementos is best described as the Palace of the Masses. Yalda Boeth, the god of control, once attempted to drive humanity to ruin by exploiting this realm, but the Phantom Thieves managed to stymie its self-centered plot. So, that's why I was saying this place could be a cognitive world of like an individual maybe, but maybe it's not a distorted desire, maybe this is an act of like creation in order to then like abstract a way to control someone that's what i'm thinking anyway moving on unfortunately returning will be no easy feat we would each be stuck here for eternity were we to simply wait hmm we won't be doing that right we've never given up before and we're not starting now we're gonna rescue the others and get us all the hell out of here I expected as much from you. This realm, sealed off from all other realities. There is still much to learn. However, so long as you have the will to overcome this ordeal, I will spare no effort to aid you. I am the one who rules over power. To draw out the potential lying dormant within you, I shall reprise my role for you in this place. As I had previously explained, this room has suffered from a grave disturbance. Apologies, but would you mind taking your leave? I vow to tidy up the place before your next return. See you soon. Indeed. I wholly believe that you can do this, Trickster. Morgana, I leave him in your care. And I'll be sure not to let you down, Miss Lavenza. By the way, that outfit, is that also the mysterious being's fault? No, I merely thought, under the circumstance, I could perhaps dress more fittingly to theme. <laughs> what do you think? Does it suit me? Uh, uh... Does it suit me? Uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, looking cool. That <laughs> pleases me to hear that. Well then, Please visit me anytime you need, through the door in the hideout. We shall meet again soon. Okay. Well, it looks like we have, um, yeah, I was kind of expecting it to give us a tutorial there on Personas, but we've discovered that there is going to be somewhere where we can potentially do Persona Fusion in the future. Anyway, Morgana. We still need to settle the issue about our weapons. What to do? It'll only get more difficult using what we have now. Hmm, what to do? Ah! How oh, everyone, I bring some news. A short while ago, a person wearing a strange mask appeared and asked for this to be delivered to you promptly. Someone in a mask wants to give us something? Oh, wow. Hmm? Wait, these are weapons. Ah, a note came with it. I believe it's addressed to all of you. Let me see that. It says, Dear all, I have a solution regarding your current situation. I believe you are wondering how you may acquire additional weapons. However, the type of weapons you need are special, ones that operate based on the cognitive nature of your abilities. It is nearly impossible to get your hands on such weapons in the metaverse. They sure know an awful lot about us. Mm. Well, they're not wrong. It's not like we have access to Awahi's store from here. 
um, Munashi, Munahishi Iwai, a gruff-looking middle-aged man who runs the airsoft shop Untouchable in the back alley of Shibuya Central Street. He does business with the Phantom Thieves by offering model guns and customization services. He has a tattoo of a gecko on his neck, and there are rumor and there are local rumors that he was once a member of the Yakuza. Hmm. That said, how did all these weapons get here? However, if they do not exist, then all you must do is build them from scratch. For this, I have a proposition. Allow me to make and repair your weapons for you. I believe you have something called online shopping in your real world. Following a similar system, you can place an order with me and I shall deliver your goods directly to you. I'll be adding new products in due time, so please make use of this service. Okay, that's all. Which means... No sign off, huh? How mysterious. That last part wasn't me, by the way. They actually ended it with, Okay, that's all. But more mysteriously, this person seems to understand your situation pretty well. Do you know who it might be? Um... Okay... I have an idea? Oh! Oh wait, there's more to the letter. P.S. Please note that I will require payment. That is how deals work, do they not? And if you refuse, I will unleash the flames of the apocalypse and they will consume you whole, leaving no ashes in their wake. Oh, I must be slow, I just got, it's probably Lavenza, right? Ha, huh, that's pretty brutal. Now I'm even more curious who this person is. Hmm, yes. So in short, you can buy weapons from them as long as you pay, right? If that's the case, I'll show you where my secret stash is. It's meant to be the Rebel Corps' war funds, but we are in a partnership after all. Oh, thanks for the 5,000 yen. You have my thanks. We really owe you, Arena. Allow us to return the favor of our future successes together. I wonder why Lady Lav... I mean, I wonder why this unknown sender would go about this in such a roundabout manner. Well, no point in guessing. More importantly, it's great news for us. Uh. Let's be sure to use this service whenever we want to procure weapons, Alpax. I'll take care of ordering the goods then. Come talk to me when you need anything. Alright, I guess we'll go buy weapons. Cool. Interestingly, I think st Strikers use the exact same thing for buying weapons and other items in that game. They, they use the idea that it might be online shopping in that one. Okay, cool. Uh, about the shop. Ranged weapons are available to purchase at the shop. The range of stock will improve as you progress through the story. Make smart use of the shop to ensure your success in battle. I have a new weapon available. Okay. I will say, however, in uh, Strikers, it was a definitely a different interface. Make sure you're well prepared. It's not like one to one. What do we have? We have six thousand two hundred and sixty. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at the Please, cost of take these. Take your time. Okay. Um. What would you like? Wow, hers are really expensive. Okay. Um. Let's see, how much is our current one? So that is a 25 upgrade. That's a 40 upgrade. But this one has a larger range. Look at that, that one has a much larger range. Interesting. Um, Make sure you're well prepared. Here, seven range, and this is nine range. Again, the cheaper one has a longer range. Interesting. What would you like? And then 24, eight, 10. Yeah, okay. How much can we buy? Um, so that put us down to 3.2, 1.6. Yeah, so we can only buy two weapons, no matter what we do here. Okay. Well, I kind of just want the ones with higher damage. I understand that range can be important. Uh, can I buy these two? No. Well, given that we have the best persona for damage, Let's maybe go Morgana and Arena. So that put us up to... Yeah, yeah. Let's buy the more ex expensive Everything one for good? both of them. Yeah. Thanks for your purchase. Cool. You have a good eye. Uh, yes, I would also like to buy this. Just double checking. All right, yeah. here you go. Okay. And then can I sell weapons? 
No. Okay, once you buy, you buy. Come back soon. Got it. Right. Improving your units. Ah, now it's telling us to go and upgrade your unit skill trees and their equipment. The Phantom Thieves level is shared by everyone. It increases their HP, SP, and melee attack power as it grows. You can always raise it by replaying missions. Okay, so if you're feeling like you need some more of that, go grind. In the prep menu, you can view and equip various skills. In the equip menu, you can choose the ranged weapons uh, each unit will wield. Set off for battle only after thorough preparation. Commencing an operation. Start the next operation by selecting mission while in the hideout. The next battle prompt appears if the operation will involve combat. Once you start a battle, you will not be able to return to the hideout, so always prepare well before moving out. But we can talk to people now. Ah, and you can then see the old ones and you can see the new ones. Okay, the citizens' appearances. Alright, I was wondering about that actually, so let's see what they have to say. So about these people in the Rebel Corps. I know what you're thinking, Alpex. What are these people really, right? Um, are they really shadows? Hmm. Normally, we'd be able to infer that based on their appearance and behavior, but it's not working like that here for some reason. This could be related to the mysterious effect that Miss Lavenza told us about. Hmm. What we do know is that they're not made of the same stuff as you humans are. I wonder if everyone who lives here looks like this. But then why does Arena look like a normal person? So many questions we don't have an the answers to yet. Yes, I think I brought up all of these thoughts. I apologize. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. yeah, what is it? Would you care for another cup of coffee while we wait for the captain? You have my thing. Ah, uh, yeah, that sounds good, thanks. At least it seems like they're not the bad guys here. Let's put a pin in the questions and just go with the flow for now. Alright! We should take up their offer and get some rest before the next operation. Although, could I have a sa saucer of warm milk instead? The fresher the better, please. I'm counting on you. Oh, and don't forget to cool it down to room temperature first. Alright, we got 2 GP for that conversation. Also, like, basically, they we just went through what I went through with the game. I was like, yeah, we need to, um, you know, we need to know about these guys. I'm and right. I went, well, I don't really know. Let's just go with the flow. And then, you know, that's what we did. Right, let's open up the prep menu. Let's have a look at our skills. Do we have enough for any more of 4 GP? I don't think we do, right? No, how much do these cost? 10. Yeah, so no. Okay, cool. I think I'm happy to go then. Mission. Next battle. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go over the current plan. Take a look at this map. I see. The whole city's surrounded by the castle's outer walls, huh? Uh-huh, what a well-drawn map. Yes, the hideout's marked here. We're in part of the city that's a fair distance from the castle. And here is the prison where they're holding your friends. How do you plan for us to get there? Well, we certainly can't just travel the streets. Security is tighter than ever now. They've been after me for quite a while, but now they're looking for you two as well. So, I think the safest course of action is to make our way there along the top of the castle's outer walls. Hmm. Well, sounds good to me. Yeah, we're definitely less likely to get surrounded that way. But this is so reckless! Just imagine what would happen were you to fall! Don't you worry about that. We're used to this sort of stunt. We don't call ourselves phantom thieves for nothing, right? Oh, good. Sounds like this strategy will play to your strengths. Hopefully we can find our friends and get them out of there before it's too late. Everyone, hang on just a bit longer. Cool. Straightforward. Go there, get all of our friends back. Well, have you found those rats for me? Not yet, ma'am. But we have every last man hunting them now. I see. Then, every last man is absolutely pathetic. I 
want those three at my feet now! Yes, madam! I swear, how can they all be so useless? Just as the ceremony was falling into place, the vermin start crawling in through the walls. All I need is the perfect wedding, then everything I've ever wanted will finally be within my grasp. Until that moment comes, anyone in my way is sure to regret it. Oh, playthings! I think I'm in the mood now to try out my new little toys. That defiant little brat who escaped. Joker, was it? You are to find him and bring him to me. I want him alive. Got it? Your, Your wish is our command, great Lady Marie. Soon, I'll have that arrogant brat within my grip once more. And this time, I'll crush him right in front of his friends! <laughs> Okay then. She's crazy. We already knew that. Huh. All right. Looks like we've made it to the top. Ah. And we haven't been spotted yet. I hope we can keep this up. Although I may have spoken too soon. Hmm. We've got lookouts. What now, Joker? Let's get them. Yeah, we could go around them. We could do all sorts of things. No, let's get them. Ah. Yeah, sounds like we're on the same page. I'm gonna get their attention. Everyone ready? Hmm. Ready when you are. Okay. A little bit of combat. I'm ready. Awards. Each stage has a set of conditions that will grant you awards if successfully completed. You can confirm award conditions in the pre-battle uh, screen by pressing X. Stars are used to represent different award conditions. Yellow, complete, grey star incomplete, X within a star, not possible to complete. You can also confirm award conditions via analysis. Attaining awards will grant you experience, increased experience and money, so try and complete them whenever possible. So I'm assuming by the fact that you've got these things, like maybe it's just meaning that you can have a look at the stars while you're, you know, in combat, which it probably does. But I'm wondering whether some of them are X because you can't do them until you have things from later missions. Like it might be like, use this character, but you can't use the character because you don't have them yet. Something like that. Anyway, moving on. So, uh, win condition details. Five turns. No one in the party gets KO'd and clear the stage. I did also hear, before I started playing this game, all the missions are apparently like fairly short, right? They're meant to be like short, quick fire missions. You go in there, you you do what you need to do, you get out. So yeah, as I was saying in the first one, uh, episode, I think, they're all feeling like the little puzzles, right? You look at it, you go, okay, how am I going to handle the next three or four turns? And that's all you have to think forward different than other tactics games I've played, but I like it. Right, um, well obviously there's not really a lot to prep here. Um, can you do anything like move them around? No, I think we're fine. Uh, what's our plan here? Probably... Well, if you attack them, you move into their square, right? So probably run in, attack one, knock them out of the space, shoot, run over to the next one, do the same thing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Let's do that. Start battle. Yeah. Restoration squares. Any unit that ends their turn on a neon yellow square will receive a moderate amount of HP. Make sure to use this to your advantage. Okay. Now then. Doesn't look too tough. Get ready, but don't let your guard down. Let's start with this. Do an attack. Let's go. Did you really expect anything? So we well, end on their got? on their one. Uh, so you here. can now move forward and gun that target. There. Nice, Joker. Enemy hit. Okay, which gives you a one more. Then we attack in here. That's 
right. again you gives us the cover. Right. Uh, now this is going to hurt uh, Joker slightly, but we're okay with this. Huh? Shoot. Firing. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use arts with this and stop away. this one from having a turn. Cool. We get to heal. These guys have Here to go, go and find better squares to stand in. Okay. All right. How is our um, how are conditions going? I've already forgotten what they are. Uh. Yes. Uh, analysis. There we go. Win conditions. No one gets KO'd. That's fine. I thought it might be number of damage taken. I'd forgotten what it was. Um. So if I hit this one, the problem with us hitting them, right, is that we get, um, yeah, we, we then get hit by the AoE. Really, Let's what I want to do is go. use you, get you to attack. That's fine. Just huh? working out where I need people to Keep be up, for Marina. next turn. Now, then. Okay. You're going to move over here. Gun that one, which kills them. It's over. Joker takes ah. an enemy. Nice going. Okay. Uh, then we could use our persona, persona to try and knock him out, but that's not really going to do what we need it to do right now. Let's do an attack, knock them into each other. Attack landed. Nice, Joker. Leave it to me. Okay. Then a uh, gun. Hit him ah. another hit. Excellent marksmanship by me. Um. Oh, you can't walk past them. Interesting. This is gonna Attack. hurt. I can't help but be enamored by my own skill. Okay. Then. Time for my persona. One of those which will kill them. Zorro! Yeah. Ah! Wonderful. Another enemy down. It's kind of what we were looking for there. So we are a little bit out, but that's fine. Take them down. We, we take resisted damage. <laughs> Okay, we're fine with that. All right. Get ready. Show me what you Can got. you even reach? You can. Perfect. Well, attack here then. You'll fall here. What? Nice. That's a hit. You really doing no. it, Arena? Okay. Shoot on. Yes. Another enemy down. Uh, attack. Doing good, Joker. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, that's a kill, right? Not quite. Uh, shoot him. It's also not a kill. Um, persona. Behold the proof of my That's a kill. So Let's do it. Check out my power. Wonderful. Now? Oh. Tough, but we've got to do it. What? Whoa! Look how big that one is. Careful. That's a very powerful legionnaire. It won't go down easily and strike back whenever you attack it. I will strike back Very whenever you well. attack it. So what you're saying is, if you get reckless and attack when you're too close, you'll get a nasty counterattack in return. All right. Yes. Though they are vulnerable after their counterattack, that's the time to hit them. Uh, the first time these enemies are attacked, they will perform a counter instead of being downed. However, they are wholly defenseless after countering. Should you attack them again in the same turn, they will be downed. Okay. Um, well, this has made my, like, formation a little bit awkward. Um, let's go here. I don't think I, I can shoot him if I'm, like, out here, but I don't want to do that, I don't think. I think I just want to end my turn here, actually. Yeah. Let's do that. We got our SP as well, because we're standing next to cover. What to do here? Two turns to kill it. All right. Uh, you can't really reach it that well. Get ready. You could potentially knock it a little bit. Huh. Here I go. Seeing how far I can get people. I can't even hit with arts. That's the no. thing. We're, we're that far me. away. We did see when we shot it on the tutorial? It showed it moving closer. Let's shoot it. Right? Because it should move closer to us, right? I can't help but be enamored by my it own. It does. Ooh, All right. okay. So then you can shoot Fire. it. Nice, Joker. Enemy hit. 
Giving you a one more. Um, let's figure out how I want how I want to do damage to it. In one of these. Yeah, but we'll do it from further away. There we go. Here I go. And then we're gonna use uh, this so it can't attack attack in its Don't next turn either. Yeah, cool. I'm assuming we can stack these things. That's what fine. To do here. Uh. Let's go. Okay, so is it gonna attack anyone? Or, like, Our let me just see. Always, Joker. We're no, outside this range. Does it walk to us or does it attack someone else? It walks to us. Perfect. In which case, we just gun it and then it it dies. There we go. Turn five, we killed them. All right. All right. Looks like we somehow got through that one. Hey, everything cleared. That's what we wanted to see. Okay, cool. Good. That should do it here. I've got to know. Just what the hell are those things? Plus, your powers aren't working like usual either, are they? Hmm. Something's off here. Miss Lavenza didn't know what was going on either. That means we must have reached a really strange place. It seems you two are still feeling held back. I must say, you're certainly holding your own regardless. That persona of yours. How'd you get that, if you don't mind my asking? Um, everyone has one. Personas are the power of the heart made manifest. You should be able to summon one too, if you try. Uh, really? Would you mind if I tried now? Hmm. <sighs> Nope. What? Yo, shut up, or they'll hear us. <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> Sorry. Whatever. Let's pounce on them quick before they catch us. Okay, next mission. Okay, so the other thing it looks like it's doing with each mission here is it's not really giving you time to... Um, like, you do a series of battles. You don't just do, like, one battle, then go back to the base. You do, like, a series of them, then you go forward. Okay, so though it might be, like, each mission is, like, ten minutes, each um, set of missions might be, like, half an hour. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Also, new song. Six turns, no one gets uh, KO'd. Um, clear the stage. All right. Well, oh, you can also save here if you want to. Okay, interesting. All right, let's do another one. Start a battle. I haven't really thought about my plan yet, to be honest. Three enemies ahead. We've gotten into a good sync with Arena, so I think it's time to try out a new move. Huh? New move? Yeah, a special one I've been saving for the right time. Just do exactly as I say, got it? First up is Joker. Shoot the enemy that's in the middle to knock it down. Now, I mean, I can do that, but like, that wasn't really my plan. I was going to have you use wind to knock these two enemies to the side, uh, then use arena to get a triple knockdown, or... Alright, I guess I'll shoot them with a gun. It's over! Nice, Joker! Enemy! Well done! Nice hit! Alright, they're down. Sound good? Okay, next we have to surround a downed enemy. Do this. Okay. Mm. I'll stand here. And last is you, Arena. Once you're in position, we'll be ready. Hmm. Got it. I'm not sure what you have planned, but leave it to me. All right. All right. All right. We're in a great position, Arena. Follow our lead, will you? Gotcha. Let's go. Let's get this done, Joker. Nice. Triple threat. All right. Let's go. Checkmate. Amazing! Wow, that was awesome. We beat them no problem. Well done! Nahaha! <laughs> you weren't too shabby yourself. Three people surround an enemy, then attack, huh? Talk about a powerful tactic. Ah! And it might be even more effective if we can surround more enemies. Just as expected! Nobody's stopping the Phantom Thieves now. Let's keep this up and finish off the rest. 
A triple threat is an all-out attack that deals damage across a wide area. You can activate it by surrounding a downed enemy with all three of your party members and pressing right trigger with a unit that is currently in a one more. Oh, interesting. Um, so I didn't know that this game only has three uh, member uh, groups. Okay, so again, it kind of fits that smaller scale tactics um, thing I was talking about earlier. The damage dealt by triple threat is based on your unit's melee and ranged attack stats. If any of your units are inflicted with ailment besides burn or despair, you cannot perform a triple threat. Uh, pressing A will allow you to skip the animation. Ah, you're going to do triple threat a lot. That's why that's in there. That's a... You are going to see this a lot. Okay, well... How far can you go? You can go here, but you can't shoot these guys. That's the problem. See, because I was thinking we could maybe even persona them out, but I guess we can't because we're too far away. Um, I kind of want to be like... See, I don't really want to be behind this. I want to be behind this. Yeah. Then I'll just do a shot. Kind of same thought here. I kind of want to be like... On behind these. In which case, I'll just go this side. Let's try and group up. Yeah, I think grouping up is better. Cool. An incredible evasion. You're in perfect right. cover. Leave it to me. Right. So what I'm thinking of first is Persona. We use Magaru. That's not going to hit both of them. I'm trying to think of a way that that could hit both of them. If I use it from here, will it hit both Time of them? For my persona. Can I select, like, up one and then one to the right? I guess you have to select a unit here. Alright, that's annoying. Uh, in which case, I might as well just use my um, attack. Can I see where you can get to? So you can get to there. Okay, okay, I think I got this. So you're going to go here. And you're going to attack... You're going to attack this one to the side. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now, eat it! Did you really expect anything less? Show me what you got! Right. Go here. Hey, you're going to hit us! I am going to hit you, yes. Right there! Where are you aiming? That's fine. All right. Um, All right. What to do here? Head over this way. Nice one, Joker. I could kill Better that one that's down. Sorry. Here I go. I could also kill them like this, though. You're going to hit an ally. Okay. All right. I didn't quite kill them. Okay, that's annoying. Nice one, Joker. Uh, Better safe than sorry. Kill. Okay. Another enemy down. That's fine. They're gonna start moving over. I'm guessing, right? No. They just chill. Turbo slice for reward four. Okay. Get ready. Show me what you've got. Uh. Now. Leave it to me. Working right. out where I need to All be right. for this. I mean, obviously, it's implying that a triple threat would be good here to kill these units. Um, let's go here. On point is always Persona. Persona. And just chuck one of those in. It's over. Let's do this. Okay, what? Well, can I kill you with a gun hit here? It says that will kill, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. And then we're just going to move along here. I'm not going to worry about doing triple threat right now. If I move closer, they're going to have to try and move to shoot, right? What? Yeah. That's all I'm looking for. What to do here? See, I was thinking if I can make it there. So you can't quite make it to the other side yet. So I can't even do one of those. Could persona and knock this one out of the thing, but that would kill them, unfortunately. Yeah. Here I go. What about you? Does yours kill? Yeah. I almost don't want it to kill because I want to um, get the one more. Yeah, let's hit this one. All right. Nice. Uh. Leave it to me. You could then shoot this one. Think you can avoid this? I can't help but be enamored by my own. And then we can triple threat like that. What to do here? The only problem is Arena Let's do this. is a little bit in the wrong spot, actually, for what we want. Let's do this. Triple threat. It's 
All right. Okay. And then we still have another turn, so then we can just kill. Persona! There we go. All right. All I think we could have done that down. better, but that was still pretty just good. Nice going, Joker. That takes care of that. Hmm, there's something on the ground here. Hmm? Hmm, I've never seen anything like that before. I wonder if one of the enemies dropped it. I suppose we can take it for now. Maybe Miss Lavanzo knows something about it. Cool. Hey, we leveled up twice off of that one. Completed every award and cleared it within the turn thing. So I'm assuming that that turns on the right hand side is separate from the awards turn uh, or the awards turns thing. So I'm wondering whether that's a, um, like maybe that's max turns you have to do the mission overall or whether that's like an, a separate bonus and then the clear within X turns one won't always be on the awards. I don't know, we'll find out. Also we gained items, so that's the thing it was telling us about there. Cool. All right. Was that all of them? Yes, looks like it. I'm sorry. It was too careless of me. Thank you for jumping in like that. Don't sweat it. We know what it's like when things go south on you. Ready to go? Okay, we all ready to crash this prison? We made it? That went surprisingly well. Hmm. Let's stay on our toes. Huh? Oh, got it. Shh! Legionnaires incoming! Hide! Phew! Looks like we're in the clear. Security's a lot tighter around here. You Phantom Thieves are in a whole different league. I could learn a thing or two from you. We try to find every advantage we can. Never take your opponent's head on unless you have to. And consider that your first lesson in phantom thievery. But it looks like you're getting the hang of it pretty quickly. Right, Joker? Hmm. Well, how'd you like to join us? Oh, great idea. Want to become my next apprentice, Arena? <laughs> I'm honored, but I'm already struggling to keep up. More incoming! Only a few of them this time. Let's start the next lesson. Okay. This is a weird little bit of blood. Or whatever this is meant to be. Anyway, I think with that, we're going to leave the next lesson to next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. Goodbye.